Okay, let's make a left 360 and set up for landing. All right. I'm going to read you the pre-landing water checklist. Number one, area is clear. Check. Seatbelt sign is on. Check. Configure lights. We're going to go to wigwag on the lights, and the strobes are on. Bilge pump that forward switch, Alan. Put it on ship power all the way up there, Aaron. There you go. And everything else should be on auto. The other four on auto. Other uh, three. Correct. Fuel tanks are on both. Cross feed is off. Gear is up. Verify gear up. Uh, got two blues. Verify a happy face. Happy face. Look out your window. Make sure you don't have a wheel. No wheel. And look in the little bubble mirror, and I see the tail wheel is up. Tail wheel up. Okay, pre-landing, we do a Gump FCT yet. So let's bring the power back to like uh, 18 inches and scrub some energy. In case you turn down wind, Aaron, let's uh, do our mnemonic. Gump FCT. Gas is on both. Cross feed is off. Undercarriage is up. Where's, where's uh, right here. Cross feed? Cross feed? Cross feed is off. Off, okay. Okay, flaps 30. Put your finger right here and go to flaps 30 now. And the airplane takes on a complete different personality. When you get on the water, we're going to leave the power up. Here is up for water landing. Hit that button right there when that happens. Okay. And I want 100 on the clock, please. And so when you get on the water, Aaron, to slide out, you're going to bring the power back up. You're looking at 50 to step taxi. And I'm going to wipe the flaps out of it. Step taxi is very nice. And I'll wipe the flaps out of it for you after you okay. get on, okay? You want 100? I want 100. No slower than 100, man. Gas. And verify gear up. Brent in the back, please. Right, gear up. Okay, let's turn base. Reduce the power. And give me 100. And I'll you a second gear check on base. Aaron, verify gear up, land, uh, water landing. Gear is up. Gear up, water okay. landing. And you owe me one more when the props go forward. Let's put some carpet on with all the moisture today. I've got carpet about half. If you go full carpet and go around, you get detonation. It'll damage the engine. You're limited to 30 inches with the car beat on. Okay. They reduce the power more. And continue to turn to final. And when you turn final, I want you to nail 90 and trim for 90. Okay, props ahead. All the way forward. Just push them forward. All the way forward. Okay, and one more gear check. Final gear check. Give me a gear check. Gear is up for water landing. Got blue lights. Okay, and I don't know where they... Oh, you see the goose there? Yeah. So I think it. you want to land on the left side, huh? Away the from that boat. left side of them? Uh, correct. Okay. And when you get near the water, we're going to add some power, and you want to get down to like, you know, 300 feet a minute. Got it. So keep your hands on the throttles. And gear is up. Water landing gear is up. So we're going to actually touch down about mid-lake and then step taxi to them, okay? Okay. And if this thing tries to porpoise, just pop the stick back one quick time, it'll kill it. Hey, attitude's good. Looking good, Aaron. Raise the nose just a pinch. A little higher on the nose, right there. Perfect, perfect. Just let the water come to you. A little higher on the nose. A little higher on the nose. A little higher on the nose. Reduce the power slightly. A little higher on the nose. Okay, I'm going to wipe the flaps out of it. And you want 50. Your right wing is low. Your left wing is low. Pick the wing up. There you go. Reduce the power a little bit. You're looking for 50, five, zero. And your left wing is low. And we'll go right by them, and then uh, we'll go to idle and slide out. <laughs> awesome. Nine. You've got a little wake coming up. Okay, let's go to idle now. Got a boat on the left. Yep. Okay, go to idle, and don't pull the stick back yet. Hold the airplane flat. Go to idle. Hold the airplane flat. Hold it flat. Hold it flat. Hold it flat. Now pull it back. A little early on the pullback. You want to slide out real flat. Okay, with that said, we're on a left downwind for a landing. Yep. And I want you to give me a Gumps FCT. Read that off to me. G is? Uh, gas. 
Okay, and we'll make sure we get adequate fuel. Good. Crossfeed is off. And As you uh, come all the way down here, it's just it's just adequate fuel and crossfeed is all you want to make right? sure that fuel is on both. Okay. We want to make sure crossfeed's off and we got okay. plenty of gas. Okay. The I'm reason being, and this is important, if we were real low on one tank, yeah. we might not want to go to both. We could make a turn and unport that high wing, yeah. and the engines would quit. They're yeah. both running off. Both engines off run one. If you're on the left tank, both engines are running on that left tank. Okay. Let's say we had a very low right wing. And we were on the right tank, uh, and we went a hard left turn, we could unport that tank and they'd quit. Got it, okay. So we've got a balanced fuel load, so it's a non-issue. Okay, undercarriage okay. shows up, up and up. I've got an elbow, elbow, and then... And no wheel. Oh, Good. No wheel. Amp. Uh, mixtures. Uh, mixtures are both still rich. Okay, and we're going to wait on the prop. Okay. And uh, the flaps will be set as needed. They're already set. Okay. So we're good to go. So turn up. To a left turn to base for a landing. Okay. Question. Yes, sir. Carp heat. We're not going to use it. We're and thank you for asking. If you look, good point. Look up here. The induction temperatures are way above freezing. Not even close. Yeah. But Jack's got a good point, and that's something you got to get a habit of looking at. Yeah. And yeah. also be aware in a goose with full carp heat, you can't go to full power. The engines will detonate. Yeah. So we actually use partial carp heat to stay well, and we're 20 degrees above freezing. Thank you, Jack. Good point. So I'm going to start coming down. Does that sound okay yep, to you? Yep, yep. Start up. You've got the airplane. And okay. hold 90 for me. And everybody agrees the airplane is configured as a seaplane. Gear is up. So there's your power reduction. I want to gear up from you. Okay. Uh, gear is up. Gear is up for water up. landing. I have an elbow. And then hit that uh, yellow enunciator. Okay. It's going to yell at you. Gear is up for water landing. Okay. Once you hit that, it goes away. Do you have that in yours? Uh, nope. Nope, okay. we don't have that. Oh, right. I'm holding 90, sorry. That's good, 90. Let's reduce the power and get down a bit. And we got some really nice water straight ahead here. And I'm going to give you a VSI reading. As we get nearer the water, I'm going to have you add some power to reduce the sink rate. Okay, props ahead. Okay. Props That's our final forward. gear check. Gear is okay. up, water gear is landing. Up. Gear is up. I okay, let's elbow. add some power. we got a really good sink gear, rate going gear here. Gear is up add for a water power. landing. Good. Now watch the cleat. Watch the attitude. I love the attitude right now. It's beautiful. Okay. And we got a boat I turning in front of us, so yep. you decide what you want to do. I'm going behind it. Okay. And reduce the power. You going to land beyond the wake or before it? I'm going to land, uh, uh, I think I'm going to be before it here. Okay. I love the attitude. A little more power. Yeah. Hold the attitude, hold the attitude, hold the attitude, hold the attitude. Reduce the power slightly. Raise the nose, raise the nose, raise the nose. Just up there, perfect, Stuart. Okay, slowly now, raise the nose, raise the nose. It's starting to yep. suck on you. Yep. Okay, back on the power. I'm going to wipe the flaps out of it. Hold the airplane flat. Hold the airplane flat. Hold the airplane flat. Very good. Okay, now, wait till we get slow. Wait till we get slow. Now, come off step. There's no way we're going to fly again. We're way yep. slow now. There we go. Yep. Okay, good landing, but uh, we had to get better at finding boat wakes. <laughs> we think we're finding everyone in the lake. But uh, here's what I liked on that landing. Even though we were going the boat wakes, you were holding the attitude for me. Yeah. You know, it's really tempting to get the airplane shooting in the air. Yeah. you got to take the water on the nose. Yeah. Good. And starting a power reduction. Let's do the pre-landing water checklist, please. Okay, pre-water, pre-water landing checklist, Roger. I'll fly around this cloud. Okay, clear the area. Seatbelt sign on. On. And give me some carb heat. Wig wags on. Wig wags on. Builds master on automatic and auto. Okay. Fuel tanks on both. Check. Both. Cross feet off. Check. Off. Landing gear up. Check. Up. Okay, that's one. And out the window. It's in the well. And here I have the knuckle landing gears up for water landing. Mixture's full rich. Blue light rich. Fast. Rich. And carb heat is needed. Props to go. Flaps to go. Props to go. Flaps to go. I've got basically no wind here. I'm going to look at it a little more. But plan for a south landing. Yeah, do not put me in the weather. Please. Do not put you in the weather. That's, yeah, not my plan. And I'm just uh, making a point. You got to get lower. I'm happy with lower. I don't want to go in the clouds. And look, we got smoke going straight up over here. We got no, the water's perfect here. They also have slightly flat light. I don't know, this is slightly glassy up there. We got some texture. We'll look at this a little more. I haven't decided on a landing Let's slow it yet. down so you can make a turn, Jay. I'm going to turn over the lake. You know, we've got so little water you could land to the north if you wanted. 
and take off to the south. We've got like no wind. Yeah. I got smoke going straight up at this house over here. I concur. You see any uh, wind indication, Scott or Stuart? Uh, well, the entire shoreline has glassy water around it, so that doesn't really nothing. help. I'm, I'm thinking that. maybe landing north. Land there, north, take off there south. There might be a knot or two out of the north. Yeah, I like landing north and taking right. off south. Fine. I don't want to take off north into the clouds and the rising terrain. Yep. i fly base over these hills, or downwind over these hills. Okay. And Here is up for water landing. Flaps 30. Stand by. Flaps 30. Okay, flaps are done. Carpet and props to go. So if you want, Jay, put it right in the lily pads up here and step taxi down the lake, huh? Yep, yep, yep. Now, we don't know what the, uh, what the sandbar is doing, so be conservative on the sandbar, please. Roger. We got smoke, very, very, very light wind out of the south. Maybe less than two or three. Landing gear's up for water landing. That's the second check. Okay. Up for water landing. Blue lights. Flaps are done. Props to go. I'm nervous about taking off to the north. How about you? I'm, I'm not going to take off to the north. Good. We could do one here and then uh, Port Lane. How's that sound? All right. Carpet full on? Full on. Standing by props. Props to go? Flaps are done. Landing gears up, landing gears up. And verify gears up, water landing. Scott in the back, please. Uh, gears up. Okay, I got a knuckle. Check a knuckle, Jay. Up. And I got no wheel. Gear is up. Gear is up. Water landing. Propellers up. Pre-landing program complete. Give me one more gear check when the when we go over the edge of the water. Gears up for water landing. Blue lights. Gears up for water landing. Blue light in the back. And we got texture, Jay. Yep. This is really ideal. I, the water's way better than I'd I I'll land right next to that duck. To the duck? Roger, duck. See the duck? <laughs> yeah, I see the duck. Establishing attitude. Descent rate with power. Vertical speed reading, please. 400. 300. Two hundred. Your ground effect, there you go, you're on. Yeah, baby.